In this tutorial, I'll show you how to model and render this inner spheres mesh scene in 6 minutes. Let's create a UV sphere. Type S to scale. Tab to go to edit mode and 3 to face select. Let's type B to box select. Select and remove the top half faces like this. There are two ways to model the inner sphere meshes. The first method is to duplicate, join, and connect the edges like this. We won't be using this method, because it will take too much time to model. I'll just show you how the work gets done. After joining them, if we try to select both edge loops and bridge edge loop, that won't go too well. We have to create faces manually, and that will take too much time. Let's undo. I'll show you an easier method. The second method is to use the solidify modifier. Let's press shift D to duplicate and S to scale while holding control. Let's try that once again. After that we can create a new UV sphere like this. Control 3 to subdivide. For the rest of the meshes, let's select and solidify them. If we subdivide them, this issue will occur. We can fix this by moving the subsurf modifier to the top of the list like this. Please set the render subdivision to 3, because the default is set to 2, and that's too low. Right click and shade smooth to smooth the surface. Let's create a ground plane. I'll add random materials. We can rotate the mesh like this.
I'll use the sky texture. Let's turn off Use Nodes under Compositing. I'll also use 32 samples to render. Let's change the second mesh's material. The smallest UV sphere was not smooth. Let's shade smooth it. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.